I'm going to be bringing you guys mistakes that you should avoid during team of the year. So team of the year is going to drop in a few hours from now. And I feel like a lot of people are going to do the same mistakes you do every year. And that is drain their coins, drain, basically drain their coins. So watch out because there's some very, very good SBCs at the moment, but also at the same time, they're very expensive. For example, we all know that there's the, um, the 10 times 83. I ended up doing three of them, most of them crafting them. There's also these ones, which I personally think you should avoid um, unless you don't have the, the stuff in your clubs. Because if you start spending coins constantly, I'm telling you right now, uh, you most likely are going to end up quitting the game because you're going to have nothing left uh, coin-wise and you're not going to get what you want. So remember to make sure you keep yourself a decent balance. There's so much objectives out there that you could do that will get you packs just for example um the daily upgrade uh login gets you like how many 1083s it gets you one two it gets you two 1083s it gets you a five times 84 and you get a three times 85 right this is just for you logging into the game putting a bronze player into an sbc plus you're getting the other ones also out of this and you also get a two-player pack uh, when you do the SBC, okay? So just to give you an example, you're going to get a lot of free packs in this game. Also, for example, like uh, winning uh, five games in foot champs, you know, all these objective stuff of all these packs. So try to basically do these things and avoid spending coins to complete SBCs because you're going to get a lot of stuff which you're going to be able to use to do SBCs because when you look at certain SBCs that are going away today, I know it's scary. Like, oh, if I don't do that 83 times defender or 85, 83 times attacker, I I'm missing out. You're not missing out. The reason is because there's going to be so many other SBCs that are going to come out during the promo itself. You're going to have all kinds of cards. You could just rinse and repeat without going to your coin balance. As you can see, I have 372,000 uh, in coin balance. That's basically the maximum amount of coins that I'm willing to spend on uh, the promo itself. Um, my main, main uh, folk, uh, my main money comes from my Maldini. As you can see, I own a Maldini, which I ended up purchasing him a while back for like 1.6. He only goes for like 1.2 something now. Maybe not even. Look at that. One guy was selling them for like. We have 1.2, but he's basically going for 1.2 at the moment. Also, another mistake people do a lot during the promo is that they sell their expensive cards because of the crash that just recently just happened. As you can see, my Maldini lost a lot of coins. Uh, you got to remember when people start realizing that these team of the years are so expensive, they're going to go back and buy the old cards that they had. So a lot of the special cards, not the regular gold cards, but the special cards have extreme potential to go back up in value not as much as they used to be worth but definitely higher than they're worth right now so don't worry as much as the promo is gonna like scare the shit out of everybody because of all these packs that have come out you gotta understand that most of these cards you're gonna get out of these packs are most likely gonna be cards for you to complete sbcs which there are gonna be some cool sbcs player sbcs i'm talking about that are gonna be definitely worth putting your folder into them because you are gonna get something pretty special out of it also uh, another thing is um people are also like wondering if should they should open their pack right away uh, day one I personally suggest opening up your packs, of course, because I know a lot of people, uh, you know, they want to open up packs. You need to understand uh, if the full team of the year is not out, do not open up packs, because if you saved all these packs that you're getting out of these promos um, and all of a sudden you open them up when only the attacks are on or whatever, the, the midfielders or whatever, you're just basically lowering your chances of packing one. Might as well just keep the the players, uh, the, the packs until the full team is out. Also, another thing, since La Liga and League One are the most common, um, or not the most common, are the the most team of the year players in them, every year when team of the year comes out, they come out with these SBCs for the league itself, and they require you to put league players from that league for you to get those uh, 
premium player pack from that league where you get three rares and 12, uh, three rares and, and eight, no, three rares and nine uh, common uh, players from that league. So make sure that you keep your La Liga and League One players because those are going to be the ones that are going to be have the most value, of course, if they come out with those SBCs that they came out with pretty much every year. So just make sure you're not putting those cards into like 82 plus upgrades and stuff like that because you're basically wasting um potential uh cards that you could use um for those sbcs that they come out every time team of the year is out so hopefully this little video helps you out remember guys try to avoid uh buying stuff and try to basically do objectives um this would be a good time actually to maybe even play squad battles this week because extra packs or play some uh some of those free tokens you got from the foot draft or whatever like make sure you try to get the most possible stuff through playing the game try not to worry about like winning games and stuff like that just try to just complete complete stuff on objectives you know what i mean it, 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 remember one thing if you're in a game where it's extremely like try hard you don't need to stay in that game just leave go to the next game i see a lot of people sticking around games that they're losing two three four nil and i, I kind of wonder like why are you sticking around bro just leave go to the next game look for the easy opponent stop torturing yourself guys stop torturing yourself just try to get the objectives done as quickly as possible without frustrating yourself in this game remember the your, your your record doesn't matter nobody cares how many wins you have nobody gives a shit about your record in this game so just make sure that you're doing this in a way that you don't go insane hopefully this video helps you out i hope you guys all pack team of the years so we could all be running around with blue cards that would be awesome also by, by the way the World Cup, uh, uh, the World Cup Team of the Year players are also going to be in packs, and of course, for people that are wondering, yes, you could pack them with the SBC packs that you're gra where you're that you're crafting because they are considered promo cards, like the World Cup ones. So you could definitely pack them in these special uh, packs that you're doing, basically uh, SBC and throughout objectives and stuff like that. So hopefully you guys enjoy, and again. I hope you guys the best of luck. I hope everybody pulls one. I always uh, want everybody to, you know, enjoy these type of cards because they're very expensive cards. So have a good day. See you guys in the next one. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.